welcome back to my kitchen. I am Tina with Hanging with Frugal Tina. Thank you for hanging out with me today. We're going to be making another Dollar Tree video. I'm going to make a chicken, broccoli, and rice casserole. I can't wait to try it. I've not made it yet. So let's get it. Let's go. Let's hit the pots. Come on. Here's what you're going to need to go to Dollar Store and purchase. I apologize in advance. I thought I had broccoli from Dollar Tree in the deep freezer and I'm home and it was Walmart. But what you need to do if you're doing it from Dollar Tree is just get the Dollar Tree brand. Um, I apologize for that. So anyway, you're going to need the broccoli. You're going to need any flavor of rice aroni that you want. You can get the long grain um, wild rice. That's what I was looking for. They didn't have it, so I got the chicken flavored. You're gonna need a can of chicken, and a can of cream of mushroom, and a can of cream of chicken. Now, if you've been with me a minute, you know that I cannot use the cream ofs because I have a child in the house has severe food allergies. So, but if you were to make it and you don't have any dietary restrictions, this is what you would need. But since we have dietary restrictions, I'm going to be making my own cream of soup. I do have a video on that. I'm going to be using some of the broth and also just regular mushroom soup. And that's what we're going to use. I'm not going to show you how I make the cream of soup. I just want you to know that I did do it. And a little FYI, I am using Dollar Tree ingredients, including the uh, flour. The only thing I'm not using is I'm using country crock butter to make it with, which is vegetable spread because I can't use regular butter. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm going to show you how to make it. It's a real quick recipe, and this is for one can, okay? I have three tablespoons of butter and three tablespoons of flour and the can of mushroom soup that I bought from the Dollar Tree. So we're just going to blend this together until it makes a little flour roux. To this, I'm going to add the soup. Now, normally I would get the, the broth and stuff, but I don't have it. So we're going to put this together to keep a little bit out because I want to make a, this nice and watery. Let me turn that down. For some reason, I have my pan on too high lately. And we're just going to keep mixing this until it breaks down. And we have more to add, just be patient. Not much more, just a little tiny bit more. I have the rest of it right here. And we're going to add a half a cup of milk of your choice. This is a plant-based heavy whipping cream, watered down a little bit. Um, because all of his milks have a flavor and heavy whipping cream doesn't. So we're just gonna keep mixing this until we get our soup. And that's it. I'm not gonna add anything to it because the cream of mushroom soup has a lot of flavors in it already. So it doesn't need all of that. It might need some salt and pepper, but that's about it. But we just keep mixing, mixing, mixing. And what I'm gonna do to make sure I get the ratio right when it goes to my rice over there, I'm going to pour it back into the can and make sure I get the exact amount like you would if you were adding the one can. Because even though it says it only makes one, you don't need all of this. Let me get something to taste this with. Let's see if it needs anything. No, not at all. Doesn't need a thing. And that's what you do, the same thing, only the other one will be the, um, the bouillon we're using, not a can. There you go. Cream of mushroom soup, like that. And there you have it, a can of cream of mushroom soup. Same thing, second time around. You put your flour in there, and then I got three tablespoons of flour. Alrighty, 
I'm just going to add this and we're going to whisk it to get the lumps out and then we'll add the milk. Same as we just did. Just give it a whisk, whisk, whisk. You know, if you didn't have any milk, it wouldn't be so terrible. Like, look how thick that is already. All right, here goes the milk or our version of the milk. And again, just whisk until it's thickened. That was a half a cup of the milk that I'm using and five or so ounces of the bouillon broth. And we're just gonna let that thicken up just a little bit. The other one thickened up quickly because it was thick to begin with. While I'm waiting for this to thicken, I took a little taste of it. It does not need any salt, but it def... Oh, for a minute, I thought I had the salt in It definitely needs some pepper. And that would be to taste. If you don't like pepper, don't add it. Alrighty, turn it off. That's done. I'm going to put it in the measuring cup to make sure I have the right amount. And let's get over back over there. Here are the spices. I guess you're going to need paprika, onion powder, and garlic powder. All of those can be had at the Dollar Tree. Okay, the recipe says to mix the soups in a different bowl, then add it. I think that's probably so it doesn't stick. So I'm going to try and do it in this bowl. I've already sprayed my casserole dish. I put this towel down so when it goes in the casserole dish, you can see what I'm doing. And with the chicken cream of mushroom that we just made. And with the can of cream of mushroom that we just made. Ooh, it's still warm too. See, you don't know if you can see it, but there's steam coming out of the can. Let's give that a little whiskey poo. That's not a whisk. Okay, then the water, you need one cup of water. Good thing we had that big Walmart bowl. I'm just gonna mix this together. All right, all mixed together. Alrighty, so I should have done it in a bigger bowl. Famous last words, I need a bigger bowl, right? So, just let's, let's play pretend. And let's pretend I started with the big bowl. I think it doesn't want to be mixed in the casserole dish. As I said before, it's because it may stick. All of the rice aroni ingredients is in this bowl with the seasoning pack. I tried to get around my mistake of mixing it in a small bowl. It didn't work. Let's give that a bit of a whisk. Okay. All right, so this is where you would add your Dollar Tree broccoli. I understand that mine is the Walmart and the Florets, which is a little better cut of um, broccoli. But let's add this. Alrighty. So I'm going to put the broccoli in. I'm also going to add that I did off camera uh, open the bag and chop up the pieces in there because they were kind of big. So I opened it up and chopped them up. And that is 12 ounces of broccoli. And that box of rice aroni. Uh, 6.9 ounces. Okay, we're also going to add the can of chicken. This doesn't seem like a lot, and I'm hoping that it has enough chicken in it. Eric will like it because not very much meat, but you could add a second can. So we're going to add some seasonings now. A teaspoon of paprika. A teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of onion powder coming down the bottom of this jar. And it says salt and pepper, but I used that bouillon in here that was quite salty. 
So I'm going to add the pepper and then we could salt it if we need it. Half a teaspoon of pepper. Let me get this out of the way for a minute and whisk that together. I can move this out of the way and finally bring this back over. And we're just going to add all of this rice and everything else into the bowl. This smells yummy, y'all. Very yummy. I stuck my finger in it, but couldn't really taste it very much because there was a hard, crunchy um, uh, rice in it. So let's just get this all scraped down and in there. And then she's got to go in the oven. I have my oven preheating at 350. Let me just scrape this out. All right, so this is gonna go in the oven for 50 or 60 minutes, covered, I guess. It doesn't say whether it's covered or not, but uh, I say covered for at least the first half. Now, this is not a dense casserole. It's gonna be a little bit on the loose side. So, let's put this in the oven, and I'll see you in about an hour. In the oven, she's going. And there she goes. Look how pretty she looks. You could put cheese on top of that if you wanted to. I did not because of Eric, but you could. But you can see the pepper, everything in there, the chicken. So guess what? I'm going to meet you at the table. If you get any benefit at all from my content, you can help me out by clicking like, share, commenting, and definitely hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. So you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. We're at the table! Now you would serve this with other things. I'm doing multiple videos today. So we're just doing a taste test for you. So Eric, you have never ever had this. So neither have I, but I've had the ingredients, but I've never had them all in the same what place. There's rice, broccoli, and a secret ingredient we're not going to tell him about until after he eats it. When he tells me he loves it. All right, are you ready? Mm -hmm. He's scared. Look at him. <laughs> All right, let's go. It's not terrible. I'm just teasing you. The secret ingredient is love. I love you. All right, let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Good. That different taste you got in there, that's cream of mushroom soup. You've never had that before. Sure There's also... Chicken? Yeah, you got a piece in your mouth? Yeah, I did. Ah, he found it. The chicken. The itty bitty tiny can I put in there, he found it. That is absolutely... I would make this again. 100%. I would make this Dollar Tree meal again. I'd have more with it, but I'd make it again. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Let me get the other spread, and I'll see you at the wrap-up. Bye-bye.